Hello! I'm so loud for no reason. Hello, besties. It's me, Paige, with a video that nobody, literally nobody asked for. I just thought it would be fun, and yeah, that's literally all I can say. I have my water, I have my snack. Water, my snack. Anyways, you can probably see by the title, I'm gonna be ranking all of Zach Tabudlo's songs in the tier ranking list. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these before. I know I did a video like this on my channel a long time ago where I ranked like SP19 live performances, but it has been so long. But people actually really enjoyed that because they're like, oh, like this is so different. So I am going to do it with Zach Tabudlo's songs. I want to put a disclaimer first though. Please hear me out. I'm pretty sure this is all his songs. I literally just quickly very quickly went through his Spotify and like screenshotted every single song, I think, I hope. But if I missed one, I'm sorry, don't come for me. Second of all, um, this is my opinion, so don't get mad at me because I will probably cry. And third of all, what was I gonna say? I was going to say something for third of all. I literally have short-term memory loss. Um. Oh! I remember him, but now I'm chewing, so hold on. If you guys want to do this and rank the songs how you want to rank them, I'm going to put the link for this tier maker in the description so that you can place the songs accordingly for yourself, okay? And if you, oh my god, if you want to tweet them to me, I will be the judge of your taste, okay? Okay, okay, first order of business. We're going to go through the tiers that I have made and I'm gonna explain them to you before I start putting the songs in their rightful places. So first one on top, which is the, you know, as you can see, the best one. It is headphones are simply not enough. Inject this song into my veins. This is for the songs that I want injected into my veins. I mean, it's just how it sounds, you know? Um, this one below it is absolute banger, meaning I don't quite need it injected into my veins. However, it is still that song. Like, it is a freaking banger, okay? And then under that is, okay, he did what he had to do. And this one means, I think the song slays. However, it's just not, it's not like up there in my top, top, top songs, you know? But like, I still will listen to it a lot, okay? And then under that is, have to be in the right mood for this one, meaning um, I probably m will skip this song. But if you get me on a good day where it's really fitting the vibes, I will listen to it. Um, and then the last tier is, to be honest, I don't even listen to this song. And this doesn't mean that it's a bad song. It just means that I simply just don't listen to it. I mean, it, it, I don't mean it's a bad song because I don't think he has a bad song because he, you know, I just don't think he's capable of releasing or writing a bad song. Um, so, yeah. Let's... <laughs> Let's start sorting. Okay, so we're going in order of the release date. At least I think we are. So I don't know. So first song we have is Stay Here. <gasps> Let me drag. And to be honest, I don't even listen to this song. Don't get mad at me. Like literally don't get mad at me. I just like, for some of it, for me, I discovered him in... Like, right when episode came out, maybe a little bit before episode came out, because he released How Long Buhai, I think, before that. That's when I discovered him. So when I go back and listen to some of his old stuff, it just doesn't, it doesn't um, do the same stuff that his newer music does for me, if that makes sense. So I, I don't usually go back to it. So this one I don't really listen to. Same with um, Sayo. I really don't listen to that song either i'm so sorry okay and then the next one is the way you wanted this one though i have to be in the right mood to listen to it but sometimes i do listen to this one i think his voice sounds so cute in this one yeah i listen to this one sometimes but it's pretty rare i would say um and then the next one is you won't see me crying which i think in this one he did what he had to do personally i believe that in my heart and soul i actually really enjoy this song and but it's just it's not it's not my fave it's not my fave okay next is mahal obiro i'm so sorry if i butcher any of these song title names guys i am not filipino as you can see it's quite obvious 
Um, but anyways, um, this song, to be honest, I don't listen to this song. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I do not listen to that song. I'm sorry. Um, same with Umasa. I don't listen to that song. and I'm, But I'm going to blame it on that loud ass opening note because literally I would be... I used to be like just listening to his whole discography and this song would come off on and in my headphones. It was so loud it would scare the shit out of me. And I think that's what made me skip it every time. Nothing against the song. It's great. Okay, like I said, he's not capable of writing a bad song. However, it's a jump scare when you're not ready for it. Um, okay, <laughs> the first absolute banger. This is love. Absolute banger. First of all, the fucking cute picture of him as a child. So cute. Um, this song is so good. I think it's literally not talked about enough. That's my opinion, and I think I'm right. Um, it's not talked about enough. Everyone sleeps on this song. And it's one of my favorites of his. Like, he, it is just so good. It's so just, like, soft. And the lyrics are so cute. And the little, like, ad-libs he does in the background, I live for them. Okay. Next is Nagangam Ba, which... I feel like was the first song to really make him like take off. We're gonna put her in absolute banger because I do believe she is a banger. I do believe that in my heart and soul. I do. Next is Cruel. And for this one, I definitely have to be in the right mood to listen to it. I think I skip this one most often. Girl, I don't know why. Like, don't ask. Sigurado, she's a banger. She's a banger. And people, I feel like, also sleep on this song, but. Not me. Not me. Okay? Not me. Could never be me. Right. Anyways. <clears throat> Next is Young Eo. Young Eo. I hope I'm saying that right. Guys, don't comfort me. This song, to be honest, I don't even listen to this song. There's too many in that category. But it's not my fault. Like, I just am not drawn to these songs. For th but like, listen, I the way I stream his songs is absolutely, absolutely insane. So don't worry. I'm making up for these songs elsewhere. Um, okay, Elizabeth, this one is so hard because I, uh, I want to put it in, inject it into my veins, but I don't, yeah, it's going, headphones are simply not enough, inject the song into my veins, because when I first heard this song, I was living, and also the music video, it was giving, yeah, it was giving, and I pretend I'm like YN when I listen to this song, like, I'm like, oh my god, like, he's in love with me, I am YN, I am the girl in the video, and I don't know, the song is just so good, his voice in this, and it's like giving, it's giving pop punk emo, like not crazily, but like, I don't know, anyways, okay, <laughs> enough of me talking, oh my god, Binny Binny, this song also was one that I feel like made him so famous, like this, the streams on this are crazy, I'm gonna put it into absolute banger, because of that reason now I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's not my favorite one of his songs and i think that also just boils down to me being not filipino like i don't understand it as much as some other people would so i don't i don't have that same sense of appreciation for like the lyricism in this song but i do love it and also when i went to see him in florida which if you guys didn't know i literally flew my ass to florida and then drove two hours up the state of Florida to see him in concert and he only performed six songs um and thank god because he literally said it was the last tour date and he said he was sick and he almost didn't perform I would have I would have offered myself I'm not even gonna lie but um my sign which I forgot at my airbnb <laughs> we don't talk about it I'm mad about it still said um gagawin ang lahat para sayo basically Melly came up with this sign idea and I was like Girl, that is so slay. It's, um, it was Gagawin ang lahat para sayo, like fly here for you. And I had a little cute airplane and then I forgot it at my Airbnb and I had no time. By the time I remembered, I was already like an hour into the drive and I could not turn around. And it's, it's a big regret because he would have seen that and been like, girl, slay. I just know it. Anyways, um, yeah, absolute banger. He did what he had to do on that one. <gasps> Hindi Kokaya. Oh my God. She's going and inject this into my veins. I feel like when I first heard this song, I didn't appreciate it like I do now. I I loved it, but I didn't have the same appreciation. 
I listen to this song like now all the time. Like when it comes on shuffle, I will like hit the back button when it ends and I would listen to it for like an hour straight. I'm not even joking. I freaking love this song so much. I also feel like people sleep on this song. Not me though. Not me. Next song is Binny Binny English version, which as a person that does not speak Filipino, you guys are probably going to think I'm going to rank this higher than the original, but I'm not. I'm going to put this in, okay, he did what he had to do because it's an English version of the song that was oh so famous and I really appreciate it as an international fan. However, I just think you can't outdo the doer, which is Benny Benny, the original Tagalog version. Okay. Um, Halong Buhay, like I said earlier, this is the song that I discovered him with. I literally heard it on TikTok because people would use this song for like random ass TikToks and I just would hear it all the time. And I'm like, what the fuck is this song? And obviously I listened to Tagalog music before, so I kind of knew it was like a Filipino artist. And then I went down a rabbit hole and here I am, ranking his songs on a fucking tier list that I made myself because I feel so passionately about it. Okay, <clears throat> oh, if I butcher this name, so help me God. Bat Ganto Ang Pagibig. To be honest, I don't even listen to this song. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say about it. Because I, 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 I just don't listen to it. Okay, next is Heart Can't Lose. She's a banger. She is a banger. And I often think about that little like online concert, acoustic concert that he had, where the version of this song that he sang absolutely made me levitate like literally levitate i was like gagged at that version that he did i freaking love this song very good um next is parasa manga x i do love this song i love the chorus i'm gonna put it in he did what he had to do because it's not my favorite song of his but the chorus is everything and it it gets stuck in your head so easily like so easily next is lost i think he did what he had to do actually is this the song that reminds me i need to go and make sure it is this song this song reminds me of a, of like one direction like i don't know if it's just like the instrumental the guitar like i don't know what it is about the song but it gives me one direction vibes i can't explain myself further because i don't know i don't know how my brain comes up with half of what i say you know calm me down this was one of the first b-sides of his that i heard and i absolutely freaking loved it um also feel like nobody talks about this song but i live eat and breathe this song um i don't know if it's enough to inject it into my veins though because that is that is such a high standard i'm gonna put it in absolute banger love that song um next is simula palang nang una i don't listen to this song i'm sorry literally don't cancel me um first and last this song i would inject into my veins i would absolutely inject this song into my veins the lyrics the melody his voice the oh i yeah this song yeah it makes me cry. It is my go-to um, car song if I want to like sing my lungs out. Like that is the one. Um, High is an absolute banger. Absolute banger. Fun fact, this is one of Jello from BGYO's favorite Zach Bill songs. I think, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember if I remember that correctly. Um, so don't quote me on that. Like don't fucking put that on his K-profiles or something because I'm not really sure if that was true. Um, next is Gimme Your Forever. Ooh, this song, obviously, the story behind it is so beautiful, Gorge. And it really pulls at your heartstrings. I don't know if I'd inject it into my veins, though. No, I'm gonna say it's a banger. I don't think I would inject that into my veins. But, but it's a banger. Okay, <clears throat> next is Pano, which Pano is the, like, first, I feel like one of the first fully to god songs where i know every word i don't stutter i never mess up like i can sing this shit acapella like right now i could do it but i won't because i don't think you guys are ready for that um i don't think you guys are ready for all of that talent that would hit you 
if you hear me singing that <laughs> i'm literally just joking but yeah inject this song into my veins i never get sick of it it's always on repeat to this day i don't care i'm literally like literally fluent when this song comes on for sure um next is hot dog with james reed which james reed these days has really been something am i right um anyways to be honest i i usually like i really don't listen to this song it's not even because of like what i just said but like even before i feel like i never listen, like i could count on one hand how many times i've listened to this song fully and it's probably like three um i don't know why i i really don't know why okay next is iba with miss moira honestly i might have to do it to him i might have to freaking no I don't think I would inject it to my veins, but I would say it's a banger. I freaking sing Moira's part and I pretend that me and Zach are singing a duet. Okay, that's one of that's one that's what this song does for me. And I love this song. Their voices go so good together. The the lyrics. Girl. But the fucking part where they're singing back and forth to each other, oh my god. Absolutely gagged me. Oh guys, my favorite fucking song of all time. I should have made a separate tier just for this song it's asim kanaba this is also another one of his songs that i could sing an acapella right now i could but you guys don't you don't want me to you don't want me to flex on you right now like that like i just can't but this song oh my god funny story about this song also back when i saw him in florida um the lady that was like scanning our tickets and giving us wristbands was super nice and she was Obviously, I feel like she was really surprised to see us because it was like me, my mom, Jasmine, and then Rodi and her mom. I feel like she was really surprised to see us because, I mean, we aren't Filipino and that's what most of the concerts were. Um, so she was like really surprised and my mom was like, oh yeah, like we flew from Michigan to be here. And she was like, oh my God, like she was, she was shook. And then she was like, oh, what's your favorite song? And I was like, Asin Kana Ba. And she was like, girl, do you speak Tagalog? And I was like, no, but I just feel really strongly about this song. <laughs> I was like, girl, no, but don't say that because my head's about to get so big. Like, I was like, oh my god, was my pronunciation that good? Work. Um, but yeah, no, this song makes me feel like I'm levitating. I could listen to it probably for like 24 hours straight and never get tired of it. It is just so good. Like, when it came out, I was... Actually, it was also my top song on my Spotify wrapped last year. Like, it, this song is everything to me. To me, it is everything. Thank you. Next is Yakap, or like, or how me and Jasmine often call it, Yak. Um, this I would also inject into my veins. When this song first came out, I didn't listen to it that much, but I then got into this era and it has not stopped. I freaking love this chorus. It is so cute. It's so cute. Is it's one of the songs in like that little the Pano trilogy, and I. And I, I'm not actually going to even talk about that because I'll start crying. Um, next is Pina Dama, which was for that movie. This is a fucking banger. I slept on this song when it came out. I'm not even going to lie. I really slept on it. But I've really, re I've quite recently, like within the last month, been really, really, really loving this song. Next is As You Are. I don't listen to this song that much. Um, I'm going to say he did what he had to do because... I, when this song first came out, it came out like right before I saw him in concert and I really, really love the song. It really reminded me of like older Ed Sheeran vibes, just like the layout, like the way the song like flowed. It sounded so much like him and the fucking, we won't even talk about the music video because that, that was so foul. Like I'm like tearing up thinking about that is so foul. I cannot believe he actually did it. Okay. Anyways. Um, <laughs> Next is Angel, which was also a part of the trilogy, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have to be in the right mood for this one. I honestly don't listen to it that often. For no reason in particular, I don't know why. I just, like when the trilogy came out, I listened to it a lot, but I don't listen to it that much these days. Okay, next is another one of my num like all-time favorite songs by him. It's Pedal. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, this song also slept on it when it came out, and I regret doing that every day because 
when I listen to this, like this song, woo! Also my go-to song to sing in the car. It is so freaking good. It's it's one of his really like slower songs, and also it's like the um, response to Pano because Pano, you're like pining for something. You're like, what about me, bitch? The fuck? And then Peril, you're like, love ya, but I gotta put me first. You know, it's giving, and I'm like, yes, like that is so me. Anyways, <laughs> um, by my side. I actually remember the first time I listened to this. The first time I listened to this song fully, I was I was about to board a plane. And I was like, wait, this song is so fucking good. Um, I honestly would inject this into my veins. I would. Their voices sound so good together. And also this song, I know I'm not in a relationship. I've never been in a relationship. I don't even want to get married. But all that being said... If I were to get married, this would be one of my songs at my wedding. Like, it's a, such a good wedding song. Just saying. Just saying, but don't steal my ideas. Okay, next is Akin Ka, which was the start of his new era. And guys, when this came out, I was fucking gagged because... I don't know if you know, but I'm the biggest Bruno Mars stan of all time. After my mom, because my mother is actually the number one stan. I'm just, I'm just merely second in line, you know? When this came out, I was so excited. Freaking the energy of this song, the freaking horns, like everything about it. I know he was inspired a lot by different artists in this album specifically, but this one I was like, hell yeah. Um, absolute banger, I would say. Absolute fucking banger. There's lots of bangers here. Come on, look at me. This is so fun. Okay, next is Diosa. This is also a banger. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Like, there's no bad songs on this album. Like, this album is so good. Papansin. Papansin. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I'm so sorry. This is an okay he did what he had to do for me because it's not my fave. Um, out of all the songs in the album, this one and then another one, I will sometimes skip, but... It's definitely not to the point where I have to be in the right mood for it. It's just like, sometimes I just want to listen to other songs on the album first before I get to those. If that even makes sense, I don't know. Um, next is I'll Be With You, um, Cried. Cried, it's a banger. Would be cried. Thank you so much for that, Zach. Fool, injected into my veins. Injected into my veins. I love this song. Definitely one of my faves on the album. Um, next is Scream, which is another, he did what he had to do. He did what he had to do with this one. Not my fave, but he did what he had to do, okay? Um, next is Hinga. This one, I'm putting an absolute banger for lots of reasons. One, because it is an absolute banger, and also because I, Melly, actually, my bestie Melly told me that, um, she told me that, like, I don't remember exactly what this song is about because, you know, again, I'm not Filipino. I can't translate the lyrics in my brain like that. But she basically told me that it's like, I will love you to my last breath. Kind of that vibe, I think. I'm really not sure. Don't quote me on that. But um, she was like, oh, he's so smart for the way he sang it. Like, he's like, he was singing it kind of like he was older almost. And like, th the breath he took. He just thinks about things. On another level you know like he just does that okay i'm literally running out of time my camera battery is mad at me um next is tulad mo fucking inject this song into my veins bitch quickly right now this song when i first heard it i was like it's just such a vibey like the core i don't even know like i think i'm repeating myself but like this song is so good. Definitely my favorite on the album. Like my number one favorite on the album for sure. And then Back in the Man, also injected to my veins. This song, I want to just get up and dance. I want to party. I want him to go on tour, stat, so I can fucking bust a move to this song, okay? Anyways, I think you guys have heard enough of my opinions for the day and maybe for like a month. Um, but I actually had so much fun filming this. I hope you guys agree with my choices but if not that's also okay but if you don't agree go ahead and do this little tier ranking 
yourself and i'd love to see what you guys put where if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know and give me ideas for other things you want to see i feel like i could have done this with s19 but they just don't have enough songs for me to do it with so it would kind of be kind of pointless but zach has so many songs and if i missed any i'm so sorry i literally like i said just went through spotify and screenshotted everything so i think i got everything but i'm not sure but yeah i hope you guys had fun watching this it's a little bit of a different video for me um but i had fun i love doing sit down videos like this because i feel like you guys don't really get to know me through a reaction but in videos like this you do you to see how my brain works a little bit more um but thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye